Hey y'all, it's Jen for Love of Iris. Welcome to another video. Today's project is this one, and it is a sweet little treat holder that you can put on a wine bottle, a champagne bottle, a soda bottle. You can put it on a doorknob. Um, it's quite big. The interior uh, measurements are four by three and a half by a half, so it can fit a lot of stuff. Um, I made it to house the watercolor pencils so it'll hold the entire pack of watercolor pencils and it still has a little bit of room to spare um, so let me show you how to build it you will need one piece of five and a half by 11 inch cardstock this is rich razzleberry um, I'm using Rich Razzleberry because this one was Cherry Cobbler, and I use the um, Irresistibly Floral Specialty Paper. And when I built this box, originally I built it with the Cherry Cobbler, and then I went to get some Designer Series paper to go with it, and we don't have any. <laughs> That's not Christmas. And I was like, what the crud? How am I going to fancy this up? How am I going to make this look pretty? And so I grabbed my... Um, irresistibly floral specialty paper and I grabbed my brayer and um, I went to town I started with cherry cobbler and right here <laughs> and then I went with uh, tangerine tango grabbed some sponges some daubers um, but I think that it's a uh, cherry cobbler tangerine tango um, calypso coral melon mambo and rich razzleberry and I loved it so much that I cut it in half so I could make two. <laughs> so I did cherry cobbler on this one, and we're doing rich razzleberry on this one. So um, enough waffling. Let's get started. Again, five and a half by 11. Get out your scoring tool. I'm using the uh, paper trimmer. And on the five and a half inch side, you're going to score at one half and one on both sides. So one half and one. And then one half and one. If you prefer, and you're using like the Simply Scored scoring tool, or you prefer to do it without flipping the paper, it is one half, one, four and a half, and five. Okay? Flip it around to the 11 inch side and you're going to score at four and four and a half. And that's it. Okay, we'll remove this. Now, your piece of paper looks like this. You've got a shorter side and a longer side. These rectangles, these two sets of rectangles here on the longer side, we're going to remove. So let me get out my scissors. Okay. And you want to cut just the rectangles away. Leave the squares alone for now. I'm using my scissors. If you'd rather use a paper trimmer, go for it. I'm quite bold with my scissors. These don't have to be necessarily perfect, but they need to be kind of straight because you're creating this part of your box right here. Okay. And again, on the other side, just removing the two longest rectangles of the box. So you're left with something that looks like that. Kind of strange looking, huh? <laughs> looks like a rocket ship or something. Okay. Now we have these two little squares here. We want to remove the outside square. I'm just take this completely away. And that other little square we're going to turn into our tab here in just a second. So again, the two squares here, we're going to take this one away. Okay, so for this little square, we're going to move, turn it into a tab, and I want you to cut perpendicular to both of these rectangles here. All right, don't cut, don't cut this one. Cut this one because that's important when you're building the box. That the tab, the tab goes this way, and not this way. Okay, so cut perpendicular to your two rectangles. So again, cutting in against the rectangles, cut up against the line, and then miter into your square. Okay? 
So you've got your tab. All right, we're done with all our cutting. Let's get our corner rounder because I like the way it looks with the rounded corners. And let's get our punch. And I do apologize, but I have the old Stampin' Up! one and three quarter circle inch punch, but I'm not buying a new one if this one still works fine. I'm sticking it all the way in and then I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. You don't want it to be all the way in. You want to give it a little bit of room because you don't want the circle to go below this part right here. Okay. All right. So we're done with that. Now we can fold and burnish our score lines. So fold and burnish all of our score lines here. Okay. I'm not going to use my bone folder for the tabs. Fingers are sufficient. You don't have to be too aggressive with those little guys. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use some tear and tape for this. You're going to need to put tear and tape on your baby tabs right here. Okay. And then on the outside rectangle. All right, everybody see that? So these and the outside rectangle, the inside rectangle needs to be clear of adhesive. And I'm going to take my bone folder and just press that down real good because I find that it gives a better stick and it's easier to remove the backing paper for me. Okay, I'm gonna do my tabs first. So I'm gonna take the sticky off my tabs. All right, and then I'm going to line the corner of the box tab here with the corner of the paper here. So just like you would in any other box, just line up those corners. Okay. Everybody with me so far? Good. Okay. Now we want to remove our adhesive and what we're going to do is we're going to fold these over and close this so you're basically creating your little pouch here. These pieces here are going to stick to the back of this. Okay. So let's take our paper off. Easier said than done, huh? <laughs> Especially today. I don't know what it is today. This is the third time I'm filming this video. I can't get it to work for some reason. So I've decided I'm just going to go with it. However it turns out this time is however y'all are going to get it. <laughs> okay. Stick that down lightly and then come in with your bone folder and just now go ahead and press it down pretty good along that seam. Same thing on this side. Okay. So like I said, this is the third time I'm filming this video. <laughs> and my daughter just interrupted me again, but that's okay. We will let her we will let her live today. Um since I have already made my front panel, um, I will tell you the dimensions. The designer series paper is three by three and a half. The whisper white border is three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I'll show you what I did to make these. This is Calypso Coral and it's just punched from the Blossom Builder Punch. Um, and then I have some rimmed jewels in there. Is that what they're called? I can't even remember. Uh, metal rimmed pearls. Okay. And then the Come Let Us Sit Together and Drink is the smallest circle from the um, layering or the stitched circle framelits. And it is stamped with Balloon Celebration. Come Let Us Sit Together and Drink. And it's stamped in Rich Razzleberry. This shape here is actually the medallion punch, um, and I think it's meant to be a snowflake, but I'll show you how I got it to look like a flower. Let me see if this scrap is enough. Oh, it is. Okay. So just punch one out, and then all I did was take a pair of tweezers 
and go in the middle of every petal and kind of twist. I know it looks kind of silly right now, but once you get it all twisted, it looks more like a flower than anything else. Now this may be designed to be a flower on its own, but to me, this little bit of a twist just made it look like this designer series paper, especially this one here. So I thought it added a nice little touch. So that's what it looked like after I was finished with it. And then I stuck my embell or my sentiment in here on a dimensional because it is kind of um, bent now. <laughs> so I wanted the sentiment to sit up a little bit. So come let us sit together and drink. It was on a dimensional. Um, there's a little bit of snail on the back because I had to tear it up and <laughs> I had to start over again. So I'm going to add some Tombow to this to get it to stick on there again. Y'all ever have days like this where nothing goes right? I had a day like this last week where everything went wrong at work. Called my husband and I was like, babe, I can't, I can't fix supper. I'm going to stop by and grab supper on the way home. So I did. And then when I got home, got out of the car, grabbed the food, the bag tore, and all the food fell on the floor. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just going inside and start drinking because <laughs> I, there's nothing else for me to do today. I was done. But anyway, uh, this is the little pouch, and I just think it's absolutely adorable. And again, like I said, I, I designed it so that I could uh, fit my watercolor pencils in it and gift it to um, some folks who achieved milestones on our team. And um, I will give them the box too, but I just wanted it to have a pretty package. And I'll let it hang on um, a bottle of champagne that says, congratulations. And uh, I just thought it was a sweet little project. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you try to build one. And um, if you have a day like I did the other day, enjoy a, a sparkling seltzer or a drink of your choice. <laughs> and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.